What have kids meant for you? Kids? Your kids. My kids? Everything. What do you mean? Everything. Man, this baby's great, though, huh? She's everything. The baby is everything. It's so amazing, my little family. It's just so, it's unbelievable. It's, it's, uh, I don't know. It's the only thing that's ever happened to me. Really, the only thing. Everything else is smoke. This is it. This is uh, real life. Did you see the birth? I was there, yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, you, I, I've been, since May 27th, when my daughter was born, I've been floating. I smile constantly, which I never did before. Yeah. And you never imagined you would have it this kind of... N no, you know, you, n you, you can never... Everybody tells you and you know, you know, what their experience and you know it's going to be something, you know, sublime, but no, you just don't, you can't imagine until it actually happens. When you, when you see this little angel arrive, it's, uh, I mean, for Vanessa and I, it was, we, the both of us have just been floating ever right. since. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Are you, are you good at being a father? I am, in fact, yeah. yeah. I, uh... Yeah, I do all the stuff, you know, uh, diapers, uh, vomit, uh, uh, yeah, you know, really? all the stuff, burping. Yeah. People have asked me if it's changed my life, but in fact, I think it, uh, the birth of my daughter gave me life, you know. I haven't lived before that date. I, I was not alive. I existed. I imagine that I drew breath and exhaled and all that stuff, but I don't have any particularly, you know, fond memories of it. I mean, I, I don't think I took a real breath until my daughter was born. What sound or noise do you love? My daughter's voice. Mm. Are you spoiling yeah. her? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. It's safe to say, yeah. Yeah, that'd yeah. be yeah. <laughs> Like, what do you do? I, uh, very recently had two, two-hour sessions at FAO Schwartz. Oh, the big toy store? Yeah. 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 Where I bought, I mean, an inordinate amount of presents. I mean, just huge, yeah. And she's and six I, months. And then I gave them to her. Already. You gave them to her already? They were going to be for Christmas, and I, I gave them to her already, so I have to go oh, back. I think you missed last Christmas. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. So now you have to go back and buy more toys. Yes, I do. <laughs> she's given me the greatest gift that uh, one will ever get. You know? Beautiful child. Beautiful daughter. What else can you say, you know? But really, the main thing is just I want to continue to be a good, uh, good dad, you know, a good father, a good family man, and um, and uh, yeah, live life. You know. The coolest ga dad in the world, <laughs> because your image is in the ride. Pretty wild. Well, how does your kids react? My kids' reaction to the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, you know, with the new, the Papa sections, let's call them, you know. Um, was uh, it was amazing? You know, they were they were so cute about it. You know, just you know, the whole full on jumping up and down. I humbly accept this magnificent treasure. I know that they're going to take their kids someday to see to see Daddy on the ride. I know that uh, their kids are going to take their kids. You know, that kind of that, that I'll still be there. That's which is amazing to me. Does my daughter pick my clothes? Um, she does sometimes. One, one time, my, my son, I was getting ready to go to some awards ceremony, and uh, I was putting on a, a shirt, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a red shirt, and my, my son was laying in bed watching uh, cartoons. And he just glanced at me and said, that's not going to work, Dad. What, what, have, what kind of feedback have you gotten from your kids about the movies? Oh, the kids have been... Uh, Incredibly sort of supportive, you know, they, um, they, you know, they, they, they enjoyed the character a lot. I mean, they really, you know, every, every now and again, very rarely, um, but they, you know, they'll ask me to sort of say something like Jack Sparrow. My kids, you know, bless them, they've been, they're so amazing because they, to them, it's, they've never known anything else, so it's, it's not, it's not strange to them at all. I mean, there was a kid in my, in my daughter's school who said, uh, you know, your, your father's Johnny Depp. And my, my daughter's reaction was, 
classic, beautiful. She turned and, and said, yeah. <laughs> so what? <laughs> and that's essentially how they treat it. It's just, you know, so what? You know, oh, Dad's on TV again. Well, let's, you know, let's go watch something else. You just want to be the best father possible. You want to be uh, available to your kids. You want to be... Um, there for them at any stage of the game whenever they want something so I was pretty lucky I I, uh, I had a good uh, I still have a very mm -hmm. good father you know. instant perspective you know uh, of having kids whereas before for years and years none of it none of it made sense to me at all it was uh, it was I was confused by it didn't know what it was all about what everything was for and then suddenly when you're holding your child in your hands you go oh okay I get it I was an idiot. <laughs> Sorry. Before anything, I'm a father, and um, my my goal, my 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 real ambition in life, if, if if I have any ambition at all, is to be a great father. My dreams for the future is that my my children have a beautiful life. Um, and that's for all children, really, you know. But mostly, you know, you know, certainly, as a parent, you wish for your children a life without fear. Um, a life without uh, hate. My son, for example, used to think that um, <laughs> it was the cutest thing in the world. He always thought that, that the character's name was Captain Jack Sparrow Savvy. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow Savvy. Captain Jack Sparrow Savvy. I know you have a, a, two little ones at home, a yes. four-year-old girl. Did, has she seen any parts of the movie? What was her reaction? Yes, yeah, she has, yeah. She, yeah. she saw the trailer and just all she said was she, when she saw the trailer is, again! <laughs> oh, so she loved it. Yeah, she loved it. She wanted to see the trailer over and over. And uh, She was on the set. She came on the set. and uh, uh, It was just me and her, I'm, you know, decked out in my pirate gear and there's treasure everywhere. And she sort of very quietly looked up at me and said, Daddy, do you think the pirates would be upset if I took some treasure? How do you like being a father? Is it fun? Is it uh, oh, it's great. everything you thought it would be? Oh, more, yeah. Well, what, what is it like? Well, for, uh, I guess w once they hit about one year, one year old, it's, it's sort of like hanging around with a, yeah, a miniature drunk, <laughs> <laughs> like a tiny drunk, a tiny, a tiny, a tiny drunk. drunk, really. Yeah. In, in what respect? Well, you know, you're, you always got to hold on to them. You know, <laughs> they, they bump into things, uh -huh. they laugh, yeah, they cry, <laughs> they urinate. Yeah. <laughs> Vomit. <laughs> you know, the moment that it was clear we were going to be having a, a baby, I just thought, you know, I, I, the way the air felt in the States, just this sort of, at that time, it was kind of, there was a, just a, a violence, you know, just under the surface that, that seemed, um, yeah, frightening, you know, with regard to raising children. Yes. So I thought, well, I'll find a house and just, uh, raised my kid over here, you know, in Europe, and, um, and it worked out well, you know. Dad, I need to have a talk with you, you know, she's... Four. Yeah, four. <laughs> I said, all right, sweetheart, what, what do you got? She said, uh, I just want to ask you a question. Uh, three questions. I said, okay, what do you got? She said, uh, is God afraid of dogs? <laughs> I thought about it, you know, <laughs> maybe. I said, okay, has he seen the dinosaurs? I said, yes, I think he has. You know. These are good questions. They're very good. Yeah. And then she said, does God have a maid? <laughs> and I didn't know how to answer it. Yeah. Vanessa and my kids gave me life. Just, I mean, put me in another, a whole other arena. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you um, screen the film, this one, with your children? Yeah. How did it go? It was a reaction. They loved it. They absolutely loved it. My six-year-old was just enthralled, laughed, you know, loved all the musical sort of bits. And uh, uh, my boy, my three-year-old boy, was, was, was absolutely just sort of glued to the screen. Loved it, you know, Great. totally focused on it. Very important to you now to make projects that your kids and the whole family can enjoy together? Yeah, I mean, at least, I mean, there, there are other things that I've that I'm working on, or, or there's even a film I shot called The Libertine that they may have to wait uh, a good 20 or 25 years to watch, but, but uh, 
nonetheless, it's still for them, you know, ultimately. My, my daughter, I mean, from the first second, was just a little sort of princess, very delicate, very girly, you know, incredibly sort of, you know, uh, soft. Yeah. And my son almost immediately, you know, just, just would, you know, like vault himself into walls and, <laughs> you know, runs around now with these, these plastic pirate swords, you know, swatting at everyone. You know. Being a parent now, does that creep into your choice of, of what you do? Sure, sure. But I, oddly enough, I, I think it always did. Even before I was a parent, mm -hmm. I think I was making choices for my kitties that were to come later. Are you looking forward to, you know, what they think of, of Daddy as, as Willie? I am in a way, and I'm also scared, you know, because, <laughs> you know, that, you know, kitties could, because they're brutally honest, you know, they could be your worst critics, you know. I just. I'm in fear that my daughter, you know, who's six years old, will walk out of the thing and just go, you missed the mark, Dad. Better luck next time. You know? <laughs> that would be really tough. Oh, it would be just heart heartbreaking. Temple, I sent them to see, we had a screening of um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when that came out. And uh, I, I didn't go because I'm just better off not seeing my films, you know, but my kids saw it. I've heard that, yeah. And um, when they came back, I was so nervous, like, to, you know, did you like it? Was it okay? Was I okay? And uh, my daughter looked at me and went, you're really weird. You know, and she gave me the Wonka line, and I thought, okay, I must have hit it, you know, I must have yeah. hit it all right. And, I mean, if, if they want to take a picture of me, I don't care. If they want to take a picture of me and Vanessa, I don't care. If they want to take a picture of my kids, that's a different thing, because yeah. they didn't ask for any of it. You know? Yeah. They didn't ask for this life, yeah. This life. Uh, even even when I'm when I'm working, uh, even if I have to be away, I uh, I travel home on the weekends or every other weekend, or they'll come and see me and stay with me. Uh, but I'm, I'm never um, never too far away, or at least never far away for any mm -hmm. length of time, because uh, uh, you, you start to go crazy you know, mm -hmm. missing them. <laughs> you love them, and they love you too. Okay. I mean, they're just I mean, they're perfect perfect little beings, you know, and, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, we laugh, you know, I make them laugh, they make me laugh. First and foremost is, is, is uh, you know, uh, unconditional love and support, that's, that's, that's really it. You just love them and, um, and try and steer them in the right way, you know, uh, they come home, they've been, uh, you know, because kids can be a little brutal here and there. Mm -hmm. Especially as they're nearing junior high and... Yeah. But, uh, you know, as long as you love them, support them, and, you know, let them know how special they are, how unique they are, uh, um, I think you're, all you can do. you're golden, yeah. How's your family? They're great. How are, how are the girls? You got, a, like, a teenager and a nine-year-old? My girl is, my girl is uh, 12. Boy and a girl. And Yeah, and my yeah. boy is nine, and, uh, yeah, they're just growing all too fast. I remember one time when the kids were much younger, you described them as being like taking care of uh, small drunks. Yeah, the t <laughs> there is that syndrome of the yeah. tiny drunk. You know? Yeah, and, and how has that evolved? Hopefully it's evolved. What has it evolved to now? They're slightly less drunk. <laughs> but, uh, but still teetering. Yeah. You know? When you have children, there's just no room for lies. There's no room for... Um, anything but the truth. It's not a, a, anything other than that is a bad example, I believe. Having a, your kid, you know, for, you, you having your first kid, uh, and then you got a couple of kids, and you realize, I mean, really, it was, it happened with my first, you know, that, that sort of veil was lifted. Yeah. And things became clear, or at least more clear, because I knew what life was supposed to be about them, you know. Yeah. It was about them. So, yeah, it gives you, having kids and having that sort of foundation, that, that family, yeah, sort of gave me license just to go kind of nuts. And Lily, I have to say, has been crushing these Thank carpets. You. Can we talk about this for a it's, second? It's uh, shocking. It's shocking, man. She's, she's about to turn 18 and she's just this, she's a perfect creature. Well, uh, well, uh, what's most amazing, because it's all happened very quickly for her. It's just boom. She's so down to earth and she's so sharp and sophisticated and treats it with respect, but doesn't take it all too, uh, 
too serious to where it's a burden, you know. She's, I'm, I'm very proud of the way she handles herself. Uh, your kid, how old are your kids now? Uh, Lily Rose is about to turn 18. 18? Yeah, man. She's modeling now and acting, right? She, yeah, she's blowing up. It's that's, incredible. That's, yeah, that's fantastic. It's amazing. But it, it, and it happened very quickly, and she's, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, she's, uh, I mean, she's, yeah, she's a woman, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that freaks the dad out. Yeah, I'm sure it does. And he's 15? Um, she, she handles it so well. I mean, she's so, she's so low to the ground and very cool about it. And it's really nice. And, and Jack, uh, Jack's 15 now, yeah. And what is he? Is, he's a musician, right? Yeah, he's a, he plays guitar, drums, and, uh, and he's also, he's, he's really, he's a very good artist. Right? Um, incredible young woman. Um, and carrying herself with such dignity and and the choices that she's making and the um yeah she's uh, you know she she could have done all kinds of those movies where you make uh, big big dollars and you get a big fun name or whatever that stuff is uh, and uh it was just not it's not in her she couldn't so she I thought it was beautiful that she, when she first started doing films. She she, she did this film with uh, Natalie Portman, and then and then she immediately went and did two or three French films. You know, I was very proud of her. I'm still very proud of her. So, um, yeah, she's uh, she's impressive. She's my god. She and my my son are my they're my gods. I want to say that how proud I am that um, I believe it was about. Um, a week ago that um, um, my uh, my daughter uh, uh, was at uh, a festival with one of her films um, and uh, that is that is a, a very surreal um, experience uh, to have so I wanted to thank Lily Rose I wanted to thank Jack and uh, especially uh, their uh, amazing mother, Vanessa Paradis. So, merci beaucoup.